Australia's C-27J Spartan fleet stands as a testament to the Royal Australian Air Force's commitment to maintaining a versatile and responsive tactical airlift capability, filling the void left by the retirement of the de Havilland Canada DHC-4 Caribou fleet in 2009. Manufactured by Leonardo's Aircraft Division, formerly Alenia Air Maki, the C-27J is an evolved derivative of the G-222, integrating Rolls-Royce AE-200 DD-2A turboprop engines and systems shared with the Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules. This synergy enhances interoperability within the Australian Air Force, which, which also operates the C-130J. The acquisition of 10 C-27Js valued at 1.6 billion Australian dollars under Project Air 8000 Phase 2 was formalized through a U.S. foreign military sales request in December 2011. Australia chose the C-27J over the Airbus C-295 after a rigorous evaluation, prioritizing its compatibility with Australian Army assets like the G-Wagon vehicle, and its ability to operate from short, unsurfaced airstrips, accessing 1,900 airfields domestically compared to the C-130J's 500. Deliveries began with the first aircraft arriving in June 2015, following its maiden flight in December 2013, and concluded with the 10th in April 2018. Based at RAF Base Amberley and operated by No. 35 Squadron, Wallaby Airlines, the fleet reflects a historical legacy of adaptability, tracing back to World War II. The C-27J's technical specifications underscore its suitability for Australia's needs. A 25,350-pound payload capacity supports 60 combat-ready infantry, 46 airborne troopers, or 36 medical litters with staff. While its dimensions, 74.5 feet long, a 94-foot wingspan, and 31.7 feet high, pair with a 374 miles per hour maximum speed, 6,000 mile range, and 30,000 foot service ceiling. Initial operational capability was declared in December 2016, though final operational capability lagged until the 2021-2022 financial year due to sustainment challenges, including delays in simulator acquisition and structural substantiation. These issues highlight the complexities of integrating a platform with a limited global footprint. Only 87 C-27Js are active worldwide, yet the RAF mitigated this through collaboration with operators like the US and Italy. Maintenance training commenced in December 2014, coinciding with the acceptance of the first two aircraft, laying the groundwork for operational readiness. Since entering service, the C-27J has pivoted towards humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, a role formalized in July 2021 to align with Australia's Pacific Step-Up Program. This shift leverages the aircraft's austere field capabilities, equipped as it is with missile warning systems, electronic self-protection, and battlefield armor, features originally intended for contested environments, but now supporting regional stability. Notable deployments include the 2019-2020 bushfire crisis, where it evacuated 2,400 people and delivered 300,000 kilograms of cargo, and 2023 operations aiding flood recovery in Western Australia, cyclone relief in New Zealand, and long-range missions in Papua New Guinea, transporting 1,000 passengers and 38,000 kilograms of cargo. In May 2024, a C-27J delivered aid to Papua New Guinea's Enga province after a landslide, and by February 2025, the fleet celebrated a decade of service, emphasizing its humanitarian assistance and disaster relief focus. A December 2023 grounding due to cracks in over half the fleet, mirroring issues with U.S. Coast Guard Spartans, posed a setback but operations resumed following engineering fixes from Leonardo, though full resolution details remain sparse. Looking forward, the fleet's trajectory includes a 70 million Australian dollars avionics upgrade launched in September 2023 and slated for completion by 2026, enhancing secure communications and interoperability with allies. A potential midlife upgrade could align cockpit systems with the C-130J, though no timeline is confirmed. 
These enhancements aim to sustain the C-27J's role in regional logistics and HADAR, despite its small global user base posing ongoing sustainment risks. Uh, exercises like Ready Spartan Prove and Pacific Engagements underscore its agility, though its military airlift role in contested zones has been ceded to CH-47F Chinooks, reflecting a strategic recalibration. Regionally, the C-27J competes with the Airbus C-295 and Lockheed Martin C-130J. Indonesia's C-295, with a 20,500-pound payload and 3,200-mile range, offers cost efficiency and a broader user base, over 200 units, easing spares access, but lacks the C-27J's range and C-130J compatibility. The C-130J, operated by Singapore and New Zealand, delivers a 44,000-pound payload and 4,500-mile range, excelling in heavy lift but sacrificing austere field access. The C-27J's multi-mission potential, seen in variants like the MC-27J gunship with a 30mm GU-23 cannon, Hellfire missiles, and rocket pods, or the EC-27J Jedi for electronic warfare, offers versatility unmatched by the C-295 and less pronounced in aging C-130 Hercules fleets. Italy's Praetorian variant, tailored for special forces, contrasts with Australia's humanitarian assistance and disaster relief focus. While the U.S. retired its C-27Js early, unlike Australia's sustained use. Specialized options like the MC-27J, unveiled in 2012 with Alliant Tech Systems, could challenge Lockheed's medium lift dominance if pursued, though Australia has not signaled such intent. The C-27J's niche lies in its balance. Agile for Pacific humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, robust for tactical needs, and upgradable for future relevance. Its challenges, cracking incidents, limited spares echo those of bespoke platforms, yet its tailored fit for Australia's geography and strategic goals, bolstered by ongoing investments, positions it as a middle ground between the C-295's economy and the C-130J's scale. Sustaining this capability will require diligent management of its unique sustainment profile, but for now, the Spartan remains a linchpin in Australia's regional airlift strategy.